Once I asked myself this question, how far architecture can go? Thinking about this question, I remember the scene from a sci-fi movie. I need an architect who's as good as I was. This movie introduced a new kind of dream, where people dream in a certain world and built environments, using a technology to control their dreams. The protagonist wants an architect to design the dream world he needs in his important mission because everything must feel real and complete. A new job for an architect. Designing a new world. There are several worlds that a man may encounter in his life beside the real world. One is a world introduced by a book. This one doesn't really need an architect because when the author says narrow hallway we easily imagine it so imagining a board of a book is completely the job of our brain and our experiences depends on what author says there is another word word introduced by movie does that really need an architect most likely yes when the question of why an architect rise the answer is always about experiencing an architectural space which is the job of an architect to design it. So, when it comes to the world of a movie, it is sometimes about experiencing an architectural space. And then there comes another world, a world that is all about experiencing. Video gaming, the media market juvenile time waster, and architecture, mother of all arts, despite their polarized public status, the two would seem destined to work together. Video gaming's most contested battle is the one to be taken seriously. They want to create a real experience. Architecture is believed to be the key to their success. Since to create a good and realistic humanized experience, you do need an architect. Sometimes it's about a good background. When a world wants to be realistic, to be the vessel for the story and content of the game. Like a having a perfect recreation of Paris for a French Revolution epic game. And sometimes architecture is the key for advancing the game. There are games which use the architecture as a map for the world. You enter an area, you look around, you see where you have to go, then you advance and you go to see what is going on there. It's actually like designing. Sometimes you start designing from the plan and sometimes you do it from perspective. Beside those, they use a style of architecture to describe this story and meaning behind in their world. But it's more than that. Video game industry uses all the existing resources to make their experience more real. I, it was in a sci-fi stories when it was talking about virtual realities. But today's gaming technology leads us to actual virtual reality systems. PlayStation Project Murphys, Facebook's Oculus Rift and Microsoft HoloLens are the future meaning the experiencing world of uh, video games is not limited through the monitors anymore. And it means experiencing the architecture of those worlds is going to be a lot real than it used to be. Who have the right to build those worlds? A humanized, realistic system. We all know who is allowed to create such thing. Who are you? I am the architect. Architects the have their impact in our lives from the old time to present and to future. But with the new technologies coming, it will be a lot more than that. A man uses all the materials and builds something fantastic and inspires whole world with all the meaning inside it. And now a man dreams of a castle in the sky. I wanted to leave the earth to fly to that castle. I wanted that more than anything else. As long as I could. Then a man builds a city in the sky, and the world will be able to experience it. Can you say one is less successful than other? Or you can say they complete each other. Two different yet similar branches existing in the architecture tree. If any question should arise, I will be more happy to answer. Thank you.